Fermentis is one of the leaders in fermented beverage solutions. We develop products that help a beverage manufacturer, whatever his field of activity is. It can be a brewer, that's the majority of our business. It can be a winemaker, which is quite big in our business too. But today we're growing fast also in cider manufacturing, in spirits uh, manufacturing, and other beverage manufacturing, like kombucha and other beverages like that. What we try to do is always answer the question of that beverage manufacturer when it comes to fermentation or when it comes also sometimes to characterization. So they're the two fields of expertise we're developing. Fermentation speaks by itself. We develop microorganisms and we supply microorganisms that will convert sugar into CO2, alcohol or something else. It can be organic acids and so on. So these microorganisms can be yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, non-saccharomyces, but it can also be bacteria. So we have this world of microorganisms that are living microorganisms, quite often actually always in a dry form that can be used easily by the brewer or the other beverage manufacturer to put back to life and do its job in fermentation. Then when I talk about characterization, which is different from fermentation, is where we try to bring a solution to the beverage manufacturer where he will use a yeast or a bacteria-derived product, it's not alive anymore, it's like inert, it's been inactivated, and we deconstruct the microorganism and we go get the components that have physical chemical properties. And based on these physical chemical properties, we will apply it to a specific application, like stabilize the haze in a beer, stabilize the foam in a beer, stabilize the flavor of a beer. So we work there with this inactivated uh, products and components of yeast and bacteria to actually reinforce the flavor perception, the sensory perception we have of the beverage. It can be the color, it can be the aroma, it can be the taste, it can be even the sparkling part of the beverage also, it can be many different things. Fermentis has been built around a strong vision, which is to become the obvious choice for beverage fermentation. It's a vision of excellence, you know, it's a vision where we try to reach excellence through a large number of dimensions in our business. It starts, of course, a lot with research and development, innovation, where we try to identify, find new solutions to manufacture fermented beverages. And around that, after that, of course, we have a, a strong communication and marketing program. You can have the best products in the world. If you don't communicate right for these products, it doesn't make any sense. So excellence is also in our products and in and how our products basically deliver a promise. What will our products deliver to the beer, to the wine and other beverages in terms of functionality, but also in terms of flavor, aroma and other characteristics. In the last three years, we have built a center of excellence, which is called the Fermentis Campus. And this Fermentis Campus hosts also our Fermentis Academy, which is designed to do applied research and education. The core of our business at Fermentis is people. It's the employees and the team that is composing Fermentis, at least here in France, where we have our headquarters. And the campus is actually the headquarters, hosting those people working in the company. But not only. It's hosting those people and hosting them in a way that they feel comfortable, that they feel happy and that they feel good to do their job in a very collaborative manner. But it's not only that again, it's to host also all the people we work with that are not necessarily part of Fermentis Direct. So they can be the suppliers, they can be the partners. And last but not least, it's designed really to host our customers. You know, this center has been developed not only as an office space and a meeting space, but also as a hosting space and an education center. It's also a research facility that helps us building our knowledge around our products and applications so we can share that with all our customers and help orient their choice towards our products.
Grundsätzlich haben wir in diesem Projekt das Gesamtpaket geliefert, beginnen bei der Schroterei über ein 20 Hektoliter drei geräte sudhaus ebenso unser Schulz-Filtrationssystem. Aber der Fokus in diesem Projekt liegt im Tankbereich. Wir haben hier verschiedene Tankgrößen geliefert, beginnend bei 40 Hektoliter zylindrikonischen Gär- und Lagertanks, ebenso 10 Hektoliter Tanks und 40 1 Hektoliter Tanks. Diese Tanks sind so ausgestattet, dass der Kunde alle Möglichkeiten hat, seine Hefestämme in der Praxis zu testen und zu erforschen. So the idea with the technical hall is to serve as a resource for fermenters um, and the Fermenters Academy. Um, the main objectives here is to basically brew beer uh, for sensory research and development, but also for marketing. The idea with the technical hall and, and the brewery is to basically brew one single wort and then divide it among 21 hectoliter fermenters. Um, the idea with that is that we have exactly the same wort and in those 20 different fermentations we can change things like yeast, um, pressures, temperatures um, and that way we are able to individually study what influences um, one parameter has on our yeast and on the brewing process as a whole. Fermentis is part of a family-owned business. Caspar Schulz is a family-owned business, and you feel this family DNA inside the management of the, the business. Both companies are truly entrepreneurial, so you take risk in developing your business. I've always strived and I will always try to reach excellence in everything we do, whether it's product development, innovation, communication, service, you know, being present in the market with customers. And I've known Caspar Schulz for quite a long time. And Caspar Schulz, you know, you build your knowledge of Caspar Schulz with time, thanks to the products first, because I think Caspar Schulz is really in the excellence when it comes down to manufacturing of equipment. The material that is chosen, the way it's assembled, every detail is part of that assembly, and then together also the service. Another dimension reaching excellence too and growing fast is communication marketing. It's always clear what is being done at Caspar Schulz. So all these dimensions that are part in constructing a business that have equal value, whether it's research and development, innovation, manufacturing, communication, marketing, sales, all these dimensions that to me are important, you find them also at Caspar Schulz. So it's that excellence uh, in these business dimensions and the business development, the business building with a very strong mindset, a very strong conscience about things, which is really quite important. Mm -hmm.